Hey, you guys, Coach Liz here. All right, I want to talk to you a little bit about one of my very favorite topics. Besides balancing blood sugar, I love sharing about inflammation. Those are two things that many people don't know much about, but affect your body in so many ways. And they go hand in hand. When your blood sugar is spiked, you usually have more inflammation in your body and vice versa. And when you have too much inflammation or unbalance of blood sugar, your body cannot burn fat. So you want to learn how to decrease inflammation, not just to lose weight, but it helps you feel better. It helps your immune system because inflammation is your immune system. It helps your joints feel better. It helps your energy. It helps that brain fog. So many things are affected by inflammation. Now, inflammation is one of the most important things going on in your body. Uh, it is when you get an injury, it's what goes and repairs it. Those white blood cells get to work, repair your body. But you can also get inflammation by things that are not an injury related. It's just that imbalance in your body. It could be that your um, gut is unhealthy because most inflammation starts in your gut. So some ways that you can tell if you have a lot of inflammation would be number one, joint pain. If you have pain in your hips or your knees, you get headaches or migraine, um, you have upset stomach, you carry weight around the middle section in your belly. Those are all signs of inflammation. So pay attention to how your body feels. Even brain fog is inflammation in the brain. So if you're just not feeling good, your energy is low, you're bloated, that's probably a sign of inflammation. Also, a lot of inflammation starts in your teeth. So make sure you're getting your teeth clean, you're taking care of your teeth, um, because that can cause inflammation. But like I said, most inflammation starts in your gut. So having a clean, healthy gut is going to help. Taking probiotics, eating low inflammatory foods, we're going to cover some of those things that are going to help your gut and also help get rid of that belly fat. So that's why being at a healthy weight is so important to your body because it's getting rid of that inflammation. We're getting your body into balance um, and we're getting your gut healthier. So in um, Dr. Anderson's Habits of Health book, he goes over inflammation very thoroughly on starting on page 424. So if you want to learn more about inflammation, check out that section in Dr. A's Habits of Health. And then also in your life book, Element 20, there's so many great tips and just education about inflammation. So it really would do great just to flip through there and become educated of what foods help inflammation, what things in your environment cause it. But I'm going to go over just a few things and I could talk for hours on this topic, so I'll try to be brief. So there are three different areas of inflammation. The first one is um, things that come from your environment. So that could be if you are exposed to chemicals, like if you have a job like a hairdresser where your hands are in chemicals or a cleaner or you're um, smelling them, like maybe you work in a factory or a wood a cabinet shop or painting, those are all things that cause inflammation in your body. So be aware of that. It can also be beauty products, things that you're putting on your body, like deodorant, shampoo, makeup, lotion, all of those things can be high inflammatory things that can affect your body. So especially if you notice that you have more inflammation or you're sensitive, that might be one of the, an easy thing that you could swap out um, for something that's low inflammatory, more natural without those chemicals. Um, also the air that you breathe, getting an air purifier can help having plants in your house, help clean the air. Um, those are all things that you can do in your environment. The second thing is inside your body. Things that are causing inflammation would be lack of sleep because that is when your body repairs. So make sure you're getting your sleep. The second thing would be stress, learning to manage your stress because stress is one of the top things that cause inflammation. So sometimes just learning to take some deep breaths, learning to have a hobby, um, have some fun and enjoyment in your life, learn to manage that stress better, learn to navigate those relationships better so that the inflammation is not building up because of that um, increase of stress. Um, it can also be if you are overusing antibiotics, maybe you get sick often because you have too much inflammation and you're taking antibiotics that can kill your gut health. So try not to take antibiotics unless necessary. Also a good probiotic. That's what I love about our, our uh, fuelings. They have a good probiotic in the fuelings. And so they are actually helping that gut health. Um, also drinking lots of water is helpful. And that leads us to that next section is things that we are consuming that can cause inflammation. Those are going to be high sugar, high fat, those kind of things cause inflammation. And so, um, one thing I love about our health program is learning the foods that lower inflammation. So your lean and green things, your lean protein, your vegetables, 
those are key. The, the five in one fuelings, those are low inflammatory fueling. That's why if you've been on the program, you probably noticed that that inflammation usually comes down right away. You start thinking clearer, your joints start feeling better. That's because your body is getting into balance. And so those foods that can cause inflammation are oils. You want low inflammatory oils. Did you know that olive oil is a low inflammatory oil? It's anti-inflammatory. So just like taking an ibuprofen, um, a good olive oil can do the same thing more naturally. Also, um, having things that are fried can cause inflammation, high sugar, things like ice cream, candy, cakes, you know, all of those things, fat and sugar cause inflammation. So staying away from too many of those kinds of food. Um, also having overcooked like burnt charred food that is actually causing inflammation in your body. Um, uh, high fructose corn syrup, any of those really sweet things that's causing inflammation in your body. So check out, um, that element 20 in your life book. I love the charts in there. They talk about what foods are low inflammatory. Um, definitely all the things that you're eating, um, uh, on the habits of health program. If you're on the five and one, those, I love that because it's training you, um, what foods to buy at the store, what to order at restaurants, what to cook in your home. Those are key things that are low inflammatory foods. And then as you're adding in all of the other food groups, learning what foods to pick those whole grains, those fruits, um, things that are going to help keep that inflammation down. So I just wanted to help you to be aware of those things that may be causing inflammation in your body, um, what to avoid and what to incorporate. And also water is such an important thing for, um, to reduce inflammation. So make sure you're drinking your water, you're getting your exercise, you're eating those small balanced meals every few hours, you're managing your stress. Um, you're getting your sleep, all of those healthy habits that we talk about reduce inflammation. So inflammation is our topic this week. Check out element 20 in your life book and pick one thing that you can change today to help lower your inflammation. All right. Have a great week.